Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. makeup on I'm just going to be taking a cream shadow which is a really light cream color and I'm applying this to my brow bone for a base for my brow bone color then what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little bit of concealer and I'm priming my eyelid now taking a light white eyeshadow and applying it to my brow bone color right where I just applied the base now taking a brown like taupey color and applying it to my outer corner with my MAC 222 brush. I'm then taking a darker brown color with my Makeup Forever pencil brush and I'm applying this to my outer corner like so and also into my crease. I'm also taking that light brown color and bringing it right below my eye onto my lower lash line. Now taking a brown shimmery color with a angled brush, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this color right into my crease to add a little bit of sparkle. I'm grabbing a cream color and applying that to my lid with a flat shader brush and then blending it out so it looks nice and flawless. I'm then taking that pencil brush again with a dark eyeshadow and applying it right to my lower lash line. This is going to give us a nice smoky look with brown shadows. I love the way this looks and it really complements any eye color. And then going ahead and reapplying that white eyeshadow to my brow bone so then it looks really nice and my brow bone pops. Eyeliner time! This is when it gets a little tricky. I'm taking a gel liner from Maybelline and I'm just going to go ahead and apply a nice line across my eyelid and then a wing. Um, I did a larger wing just for a more dramatic look, but you can go ahead and make a smaller wing if you're not into that look. <laughs> I'm also applying some black eyeliner from Urban Decay in the shade Gear Zero to my tight line and then applying some mascara from Maybelline, just a few coats to make my lashes look a little long because I'm going to be applying falsies but I wanted to apply some mascara first. So there's the final eye look. I absolutely love it. I'm so in love. Um, so let's move on to foundation. So I'm just taking my waterproof foundation from MAC in the shade MC20 with my Beauty Blender and I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my face. I'm then taking a Maybelline concealer in the shade Fair and I'm going to apply that to my dark circles and any blemishes that I may have and then I'm just going to blend it out with my beauty blender again and my beauty blender ripped which means I guess I have to get a new one but I was washing it before this video and it's just like Sorry about that guys, my camera ran out of- Yes guys, my camera ran out of juice but I went and changed some light bulbs which was fun and I saw that my eyeshadow needed to be brought up higher, so. Yeah, so now I have my foundation on and my concealer on, so now I'm just gonna set it. Back to voiceover alley. <laughs> I'm just setting my makeup with my MAC setting powder. I'm then grabbing this product called The New Stick, which I got from Sephora, and it's like this cream stick that you can go ahead and apply to highlight your face. I'm applying it underneath my eyes and then setting it with some white light eyeshadow. I know it's weird, you're not supposed to set with eyeshadow, but I liked the way it looks, so why not? It's powder, you know? I'm then contouring my face and applying a peachy blush.
I really love for my underneath eye to really pop and have the nice brown underneath my eyes so I'm just going back and reapplying that and then I'm doing a bunch of things like filling in my eyebrows and fixing underneath my eyes and stuff like that um, but it got really boring so I kind of sped it up <laughs> Now let's get into applying our false eyelashes. I am just using these ones by Ardell. They're really good and I really like them. So I'm just applying some lash glue and applying those to my eyelids. Applying a few more coats of mascara to my upper and lower lash line. And then it's lip time. So that's the final eye look. I really love it. So for my lips, I'm just taking the MAC pencil called Whirl and I'm applying that to my lips. I'm then taking a lipstick from MAC it's called Myth. This is my favorite lip combination. I absolutely love it. So there we have it, the finished eye makeup look. It's absolutely gorgeous, really complements any eye color because I ended up putting in my blue contacts for the actual event. So that's thing that complements all eye colors. So if you have blue eyes, brown eyes, any color eyes, it will work. So now it's hair time. I did my hair differently in this video than I actually wore for the event, but um, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it back. I really loved the way this looked, but I felt like with the dress that I chose, it looked better with curled hair. So this is another great tutorial on if you wanted to do your hair like this, if it would go with your dress, but I'm just pulling my hair back like this, and I'm gonna do that sleeked back look that like Kim Kardashian always does that looks super gorgeous. So I'm just taking some hairspray and spraying the sides like so, so that it stays. I'm then just taking a comb and combing back all that hairspray to make sure it's sleek back and really nice and it will stay and look sleek and pretty. So I'm just doing that. Then you want to just let it dry and then take the rubber band out from the back and there you have it, a really cute simple hairstyle. Um, um, I got my nails done with a French but I did not get my toes done, they're just like this color um and i feel like i should have got my toes done but like the color doesn't look that bad it's like kind of like a nude color so i might just keep that on i'm not completely sure um but yeah so right here she's gonna dry now but yeah should we put our dress on now mom it's the fun time it's time to put on that dress so i got this dress from bb they had such cute selections there i absolutely loved it i went to a few other dress shops but i decided on this one because i just felt like it was a nice pop and pretty i got these shoes from nordstrom's which are steve madden they're super high which is good for me because i'm super short so they're just black pumps which matched perfectly and i just carried a black bag from michael kors so there we have it the outfit